Hi, welcome to Let's Play Math, where we play some games, learn some math, and have some fun. This is part 5 of our series on fractions. It's called Mixed Fractions, More Than a Whole. Last time you learned how to add and subtract fractions. If the denominator is the same, you can treat them just like any other number. 2 plus 1 equals 3, so 2 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. How about 3 fourths plus 2 fourths? That's easy, right? 3 plus 2 equals 5, so 3 fourths plus 2 fourths equals 5 fourths. But wait a minute. If I have a cookie and I break it into 4 equal parts, that's fourths. If I have 4 fourths, that's the whole cookie. So how can I have 5 fourths? I'd have to have my whole cookie and part of another one. One and a fourth. And that's exactly how you write it. Five fourths equals one and one fourth. That's called a mixed fraction. Just remember, any number over itself equals one. So two halves equals one, three thirds equals one, four fourths, five fifths, even one hundred and seventy five one hundred and seventy fifths equals one. So three halves is one and a half. Five thirds is one and two thirds, and eight fourths equals one and four fourths, which is really one and another one, which is two. Ready for your game? Today it's Matching Math Mixed Fractions, available at shepherdsoftware.com. You can practice in relaxed mode or play against the clock for a high score. Just match the mixed fractions to the shapes. For instance, this is one whole circle and two-thirds of another one, so I'll match it with one and two-thirds. Find three more matches like that and you'll move on to the next level. Just remember, the more you practice, the easier it'll get. Now just type Shep into your favorite search engine to find shepherdsoftware.com. Click on Math Games, then on Fractions, and then on Mixed Fractions Matching and try it for yourself. We'll see you again next time for another episode of Let's Play Math.